morning and welcome to our Easter Day service. Angie and I are here to worship with you this morning and celebrate the resurrection. And it's lovely to have us both here to do this today. It's Ooh. a day that might feel a bit different, a day that might feel quieter and stranger than normal. But it's also a day where we're reminded that we are all loved. So we are going to start with a really good entrance hymn, O Serexis Christus, Alleluia. <laughs> Crushing the power of sin and destroying the sting of death. Throughout the world, Christians celebrate the mighty power of God as Christ and calls us out of darkness to share in his marvellous light. May we and all Christ's people shine as lights in the world to the glory of God the Father. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So we're going to start with our Gloria. Please join in with us. Oh, 
of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned, and the way to life stands open through our Saviour Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. Peter began to speak to the whole crowd. I truly understand that God has no favourites, but in every nation anyone who loves him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is the Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him, and rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people, and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
The Lord be with you, and also with you, hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. For I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message to you. So they left the tomb quickly, with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see you. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Okay. Okay. I need my cups. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> not the usual thing you would have on an Easter day. A mallet and some eggs, but we'll see how we go. Jesus's tomb was a little bit like this egg. Inside, dark and cramped. But when the resurrection came, Jesus burst out from the tomb and Good Friday was smashed once for all and new life was set free. Please work. Yes. Just. <laughs> There's no going back. As you can see, the egg is smashed. <laughs> this resurrection has undoubtedly happened. But the trouble was, there was nobody there who witnessed it. The first thing we know, as we're told today, is when the women arrived at the tomb, expecting to find the dead body. But they find it empty. There was an earthquake and they see an angel sitting on the stone that's been lied to the side. And the angel says, he's not here, for he's been raised. The actual moment of the resurrection had happened in private. But this Easter Sunday, these two Marys arrive at the tomb, trapped in their own Good Friday grief. Grief and sadness leaving them and keeping them in the dark. Yet somehow, 
they leave, full of fear, but also expectant joy. But you can tell the exact moment when the resurrection happened for them. It was when Jesus meets them and says, greetings. All of a sudden, the sadness of the two Marys was turned to joy. Their Good Friday feeling is smashed. <laughs> and a new life begins for them. At this point, I would have handed the chocolate round, but we don't have the technology to do that. So it will have to stay here for me and Tony. But the same is true for us too. All of us in some way will be trapped in our own Good Fridays, especially at this moment in time. We're unable to visit family and friends. We're unable to gather in church. We're unable to go and meet people outside. We have to keep our distance. There's no socialising our life as we know it. It was difficult to know how to tackle today with the present climate. But if I think back to the week when lockdown was beginning, we were experiencing Easter in church with the school children. And the day we had to abandon it, I was sat in church saying morning prayer. And around the church were all the prayer stations. But at the front was the focal point. And that focal point, and I hope you can see it, was the resurrection. There we go. It's bold, it was bright, and it was unmissable. And in all the uncertainty, we have to hold on to our hope that there will be a resurrection moment. Our role is to hold people and places in prayer, that they may experience the resurrection in a way that's personal to them. At the moment, we have only heard of the resurrection moment from the two Marys. But over the next few weeks, you will hear more stories about how the resurrection became real to Jesus' friends to Thomas, to the disciples, from the road to Emmaus. And if you have any eggs left over all those days, you could hold them up each week and you could break from the tomb and start a new life. Amen. And so, we all say and affirm our faith together. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith, fills us and us, and believe in the hug of the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with the power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And now we pray for the world God loves. We pray to Jesus, who is present with us to eternity. Jesus, light of the world, bring the light and peace and healing of your gospel to all the nations. Bind us together in our common struggle against disease. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, bread of life, Give food to the hungry. Nourish all the world with your word and bind us together in our common struggle against poverty and injustice. Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, our way, our truth, our life. Be with us and all who follow you in the world. Enliven and
strengthen your church, even in these difficult times. Bind us together as Christians in every nation. Deepen our appreciation of your truth and fill us with your glory. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, good shepherd, who gave your life for the sheep, heal all those we love. Heal all those who call on you and bind us together to care for and appreciate one another. Good Shepherd, recover the lost, bind up the injured, strengthen the sick, and lead the healthy and strong to new pastures. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, the resurrection and the life, we give you thanks for all who have lived and believed in you, for all those we have loved and lost. We take a moment to remember them. Raise us with them to eternal life and open the gate of paradise to all your children. Jesus, Lord of life. In your mercy, hear us. Accept. Accept, Accept our, our prayers. prayers. Accept our prayers and be with us always. Amen. Amen. So we come to the peace. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Alleluia. The peace Alleluia. Of... Thank you. The peace of the risen Christ be always with you. And also with you. Alleluia. 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 <laughs> Let us offer to those who are with us a sign of peace. <laughs> We're doing well. Yeah. <laughs> right, go for it. with a devil on your back. 
They buried my body and they thought I'd gone, but I am a dancer and I still go on. Dance then, wherever you may be, I am the Lord of the dancers. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy always and everywhere, to give you thanks, almighty and eternal Father. And in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, 
these gifts of bread and wine may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is the blood of my new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for the coming in his glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup. And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Elizabeth, Saint Agnes and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us pray together for the crown of the kingdom in the words our Saviour taught me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. 
Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share one breath. takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
And we gather our prayers to say the post-communion prayer together. God God of of life, who for our our redemption gave your your only begotten begotten Son to the the death death of the cross, and and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant Grant us daily daily to to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joys of his risen life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Angie, it's you. <coughs> I know that Alison has already wished you a happy Easter, so um, let me do that too. Um, it's been a strange one, hasn't it? And it's been a huge loss to all of us not to be in our beautiful church for Holy Week and Easter. But I want to say on our behalf a huge thank you to everybody who's made it possible for us to carry on and to celebrate all our usual services, if in a very unusual way. First of all, a huge thank you to Tony. Without his technical ability, we wouldn't be online. To Tony and Sean for all the support that they have given Alison and I. To Andy and Steve for some fantastic music today. To Petra and Sabina for their wonderful music that night, and to all those who have read and taken part in the services that we have shared this week. Because we're not in church and taking collection, we have no income. So it really does fall to me as the Rector of St. Elizabeth's on behalf of the wardens to say, please don't stop giving to church. We still have to pay our share to the diocese and support all the work that we will do once we're back. So if you are a regular giver, thank you for continuing to give. Um, And if you don't give um, in a planned way, through envelopes or direct debit, you can make a donation to church on the website and we would be extremely grateful if you could do that. We will continue with our worship on every morning, every weekday morning at 8.45 in morning prayer and every weekday evening at six o'clock with evening prayer on our Facebook page. And we'll be here every Sunday morning to share the Eucharist with you. If you would like to download the first sheet, that will be available on the website. We've got all sorts of things to do when we get back to church, not least to um, complete our Easter raffle. We've got about 30 Easter eggs sitting in church, but we've been unable to complete the raffle because the tickets are in two separate homes. So among the many things we will do on the first Sunday we're back in church will be to complete our Easter raffle. Um, Until then, We wish you a lot of blessings. We thank you for the way in which you have been caring for each other by phone calls. Um, Please keep that up. And one day we will see you again in church. God bless. Thank you. So we have our Easter blessing. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
God has given us new life and new hope. God has raised Jesus from the dead. God has claimed us as his own. God has brought us out of darkness. God has made us light to the world. Let's try and do this one really loud. Alleluia! Christ is risen! He is risen, risen indeed! indeed. Alleluia! Alleluia. <laughs> the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you and those you love always. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia! Alleluia! Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Tony can put up there in a few minutes, can't you? Okay, so we hope you will join us. <clears throat> and I would also just like to say a big thank you to Angie and Alison for all their hard work over this Easter. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank Happy you, Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> 